Hey guys and welcome back on my YouTube channel. In today's video we're gonna discuss about Metasia and to just I want to show you how broken she is. <laughs> but before we jump into the video guys, as always scroll down, click that follow button. It really helps me out to grow the channel and just motivates me to create more and more content for you guys. Uh, also remember to come our, to our Discord channel. The community is growing. It's really, really active. And obviously follow my Twitch. This weekend we're gonna have a huge Twitch stream with a lot of giveaways summons account reviews so make sure to follow all the links in the description and yeah let's go so we are going to use my Metasia on my new account uh, I just want to show you how she carries me through all the content right now at the very early stages and how did she help me and why I think she's the best pick in the rookie summons but also she's just an amazing support uh, for the beginners uh, she might go a bit lower in the end game because obviously uh, she will be mostly used in uh, in the arena but she all she's also like an amazing hero for i know queen uh, tulpa and then obviously void tower as well uh, but yeah i'll mainly focus on the early mid game and just show you so far on my new account how did she carry me and yeah so first of all what does the champion do? I mean, I think we all know that she revives. Basically, her ultimate either gives life HP, missing HP to all the characters, or she revives a character that died in the previous turns, uh, or both at the same time. The only problem is the more you revive, the longer the cooldown uh, will be extended. Her S2 is a basically a very strong single target heal, and she also removes a debuff from that target. With her auto attacks, her S1 attacks, basically she will grant a shield to any ally with the lowest HP. And her passive is that any ally who has a positive buff, uh, whenever they use a skill, they will recover 5% of their max HP, which is really, really an amazing uh, passive uh, just to help you to survive longer. Right now, I'm only at half of her... Uh, glyphs because obviously at the very early beginning stages when it comes to farming yellow glyphs it really takes a lot of time and when it comes to the gear uh well honestly i just took the three pieces at the top you get from the campaign uh, i think i had some speed boots that i looted at the very early stages the ring is from uh, the shop but this ring will obviously go on my hack rim we want hp on metasia and then a uh, HP amulet that I also got from the shop. So when it comes to the statistics, it's nothing amazing, but I will show you that at the early mid stages, that's enough for now. So as an early player, obviously, like I already told you in many of my videos, you should focus on Queen. And if we go and look at the teams that are being used at the early stages, like 10 or 11, uh, Metasia will be always there. Obviously, some of you might not have Metasia or Blackhorn, so hence why Rogira will be in the top. But Metasia is a very, very good champion on the early stages to carry you. Because even if you don't have the required statistics on other champions, and one of them might die during the fight, she will just revive him and you'll be able to finish or continue the fight. Obviously, at the very early stages, the time of completion of a run might be very long, but the first days or the first times you're gonna actually run queen you're just happy to complete it and thanks to metasia basically she gives you the chance to lose a hero on and not necessarily fail the run yes it will be longer but you will still complete it and get the loot so she's a really really an amazing hero Again, I think she's the best pick this month from the rookie summons. And if you just invest a little bit and take the magic pass combined with Evra, she gives you an insane start to the game right now. But even if you check the 11th one, it's the same. She's still in top two. The only change is obviously that Rogira is just easier. And some of us might not have chosen her at the very beginning in the rookie summons. Like for example, me in, on my main account. She's also carrying me through the arena because my DPS heroes, obviously they have no life defense whatsoever and any AOE attack at this stage will basically kill them. But since I have Metasia, 
who is really really tanky right now uh, i mean not insanely tanky but at those early stages that's enough to survive most of the attacks which basically helps me to not only well survive my offensive team but i also survive as a defensive team and even though if the opponent might kill them like i don't know maybe this one yeah okay this one doesn't have the gear but let's say, I don't know, his Urzak would kill every of my DPS, which is probable because, like I said, uh, they don't really have a lot of HP. As you can see, it's really hard for my Metasia to actually lose HP. So all I had to do is just revive everyone, they get the turn and they just kill everyone. So I literally had no issue in grinding Arena so far. Just with one, uh, no, okay, with two six stars hero and with one Evra, one Metasia. But it was, so far, it's just a joke. Like, I go in, I don't even check who's the opponent. I just go in, I let them kill all my DPS because I don't know, for X reason, they are all focusing them. As you can see, I'm already in gold five after what, six days, I think, has been, or five days. And yeah, it's just really, really easy. Like, you don't have to focus that much on the. DPS statistics all you need to do is just to climb by I'm, I'm rank 30 are you for real I'm literally rank 30 right now okay I will literally try to be top one on this realm uh, but I'm telling you thanks to Metasia I don't think it's it will be a problem right now it's just so easy to climb like no matter what will be the team what will be the DPS they just kill everyone, that's fine. Until they don't stand my Metasia, uh, I just revive everyone and then I kill everyone. So it's just a really, really easy. And it's also the same in the Void Tower. After, I don't know, four or yeah, five days, um, I'm literally completing stage 50 on the Void Tower just because Metasia is carrying me. Like, I really don't have the... the proper dps just to nuke the the opponents i don't have the gear the statistics or the speed yet however even though when i arrive on the boss and all the bosses take their rounds and kill most of my heroes all i have to do then is just to revive them and they either do damage or are just a shield till uh, basically evra kills everyone so it's just such an amazing addition and support and a carry in the very early stages like you literally don't have to worry about anything and just you just literally go through the stages and kill everything um so yeah let's let's see how it goes okay they're gonna focus her probably we don't really care okay there you go so they're gonna soon kill my cecilia again we don't care <laughs> And then we just, I would fully heal her just to be sure. And because if she dies, I really don't care. I'll just revive her. No, like I prefer to wait till like two or th even three of them die. And once they are dead, well, I will just revive the whole team. So there you go. My Cel Celine or Celia, Celine died, but I wouldn't care. I would just revive her. And honestly, like so far, I think I will be able to finish this tower, void tower on normal, just because my Metasia will carry me on. Like I will six star most probably Zachary and C Celia, Celine, uh, to ma have more DPS. But at the end of the day, once I gonna reach uh, stage hundred. And I will have Chris, Urzak, etc. Obviously, he will block the heals. But all, all I'm gonna do is just wait that he kills everyone. They waste their ultimates. And then I'm just gonna revive everyone. And yeah, so most probably this weekend, after like a week of playing this game, I will, I will finish Void Tower Normal. And it's mainly because of Metasia. The same goes for the trials, guys. Obviously, some of us are not lucky. We will not have Wintrix, Valeria, and all those legendary OP heroes. Well, basically, all you need is a Metasia. Like, it's it's literally that easy, guys. Like, uh, the only issue or the only thing you need to watch out when doing trials is that if any anyone dies, you need to revive them before the the fight ends because once they are dead you cannot revive them in the next fight 
but you will be more than able i mean you are able basically to revive them in the same fight so even if someone dies let's say and you finish uh, the fight with i don't know just my meteja and evra st staying still alive all you just you just need to make wait and wait till the her ultimate comes back you revive your whole team and you continue fighting you don't need the little green uh, gem or whatever to revive your whole team you just need a metasia in the team that will basically revive anyone who dies if you don't have enough of damage and then you just continue until the next fight so again like metasia is just the best carry right now in in the game for early mid mid gamers when it comes to pushing further in hard content and finally, the same applies for the bounties, like no matter which hero I gonna fight, I think I will be easily able to go to level 60 without any issues. And even if anyone, I don't know, Valeria, Tia, or whoever will one shot my team or my DPS or even the ads that are assisting the boss, I don't care. All I have to do is focus the boss, then if I don't kill her, she will kill everyone else. But then I just gonna revive everyone with Mitasia and continue killing the boss. As we know, the bounty is basically to complete the bounty, you need to kill the boss and not everyone on the stage. So you don't have to focus on the ads, just do all your spells on the boss. And if they die, the next round you just revive them. Hence why I also like my Metasia being fast so she can go first and revive the whole team behind. And then they'll they're gonna just all ult again and push you through the content. like. Guys, it's so, so easy playing with Metasia. It's just, I, I wouldn't say hilarious because I, I didn't have her on my main account, but it just shows you how easy it is. And obviously it's the same for the campaign. Like I'm, I am farming yellow glyphs already and it's not because of my Evra. I mean, obviously Evra makes it possible, right? Uh, but uh, without Metasia reviving all the other heroes while I'm farming, I would never have enough of damage or HP in total to finish uh, yellow glyphs. And right now I can farm any yellow glyph, obviously not yet on seventh stage, but any yellow glyph on the very first stage, I can just farm them. And I know I won't die because even if my, uh, if my damage dealers uh, might probably get hit and uh, slash die, I don't care. Mitasia will just revive everyone, put constant uh, support to them, and even if they, even if she revives all of them, and let's say one of them will die just after he got revived, doesn't matter. Either Selene or Zachary will still remain on the ground and do the additional damage just to either finish faster or just to finish the level. My Evra at the very beginning, she was dying. Like Selene, Zachary will die, I don't know, on wave two. And then I had only uh, Evra on wave three. But then I don't care. Mitasia comes into with her ultimate on the boss. She revives everyone and I'm able to farm yellow glyphs. Sometimes it was really, really close. But again, doesn't matter till you can finish it. All you need is just to finish the, the level and farm the glyphs. So guys, I'm telling you, Metasia is basically a VIP OP champion for you at the very beginning. Make sure to take her, make sure just to build any champions with her. And even if they don't do the necessarily pro damage, you don't care because you're just gonna revive everyone at the very end. As you can see, she has like not an amazing gear, but that's way more than enough just to basically survive and revive all the time someone. So as you can see, even if Celine doesn't play here, she's like a mid shield basically to all, all the other champions. She will be continuing and getting damaged and all the other champions will just survive and do the damage to the boss. So like I said, sometimes you're gonna revive and they might die straight away. But it doesn't matter. It prevents your main carry, in my case, for example, it's Evra. You might have someone else to not getting hit. Like you see, this ultimate could have gone on Evra or Zachary. But since we have Selene Cel Celia there, I'm basically able to finish it that easily. So again, guys, Metasia, build her. 
don't six star her first six star the main dps de uh, dealer at the very beginning but as your second hero 100 percent six star mitasia give her the tankiness that she needs to survive she will carry you through arena through the void tower through the campaign she's just amazing everywhere so yeah, if you have any questions, make sure to join our Discord, come to our Ask for Help channel, guys. Uh, you can also apply for an account review. I will do, like, this weekend, it will be, I guess, at least one stream of account review. So if you're interested, make sure to come, come along and just check it out. And yeah, I will see you in the next video and have a nice evening, guys. <laughs>